uh, South Africa's Mr. Whiskey. Please first tell us, how did that come about? Well, slightly embarrassing, I suppose, uh, because there are many people in South Africa who've got good knowledge of Scotch whisky. However, I suppose as one of the elder statesmen uh, in this business, I have been in the Scotch whisky business for over 40 years. I suppose it was uh, a title that came uh, primarily from some of the younger people in the Scotch whisky industry, but something that I'm quite proud of, I must say. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently you're also one of only two South Africans to be honored with the title of Master of Quach. I hope I pronounced that correct. Master of the Quaich. I've actually the brought quake. a Quaich along uh, to, to show the viewers. A Quaich is the ancient drinking vessel of Scotland. In the olden days, it was made out of wood and other metals, but now more ornate vessels. And, and as you can see, it is a two-handled vessel. It's a, it's a friendship cup. So if you offered somebody a drink from one of these Quaichs, put whiskey into the Quaich and you drank it, you'd be offering it to somebody and he'd be taking it with both hands, which means he couldn't attack you or he couldn't draw his skin do from his sock if he was wearing a kilt. <laughs> and what happened was the Scotch, the Scotch whiskey industry got together years ago to form the, a society called the Keepers of the Quaich. Mm -hmm. And this was to honor people who had uh, performed um, very special duties for Scotch whiskey and a passion for Scotch whiskey as well as for Scotland. So in my case, I was, I am involved in the production and, and the working in the Scotch whiskey industry. But you could have been a journalist, you could be a distributor, you could be an agent, and you get nominated, you become a keeper of the Quaich. Mm -hmm. If after 10 years of being a keeper of the Quaich, uh, you've performed exceptional duties, and that means, in my case, drank more whiskey than anybody else, <laughs> you could be nominated to become a master of the quake. And you're correct in saying there are only two of us in the whole of Africa, in fact. Now, let's talk about what you are going to do tonight at the F&B Whiskey Live showroom. Uh, you're representing two Scottish whiskies there, Scottish leather and black bottle. Tell us more. Aye, aye, you're correct there. So what we've decided uh, for the show is that... Uh, Single malt whiskies are obviously the flavor of the month, as I was saying a moment ago, but we've decided to bring our blended whiskies back again to show our loyal consumers just what good products these are. And in fact, if one thinks uh, that 93% of all the whiskey exported out of, Scotch, out of Scotland is blended whiskey, you can understand where our bread and butter is. So the 7% of these very romantic single malts are very important in our lives, but Blended whiskey is very important as well. So on the show tonight, we're going to be talking about Scottish Leader as well as Black Bottle, which are the two blended whiskies our company Distel actually own and produce and sell in South Africa. So that is what you are going to be tasting tonight. Yes, indeed. Uh, but we like to do it a little bit uh, more in depth. We just don't like to do a tasting. It's very easy to just for a consumer to hand a glass to you and you pour some whiskey into a glass and he drinks it and walks away. We like to tell people about the origins of the whiskey, uh, the heart of the whiskey, how much, uh, for instance, in a blend, um, approximately in Scottish Leader, about 25% of the whiskey in this is single malt. 75% is grain. But of the 25% single malt, there are up to 25 different single malts that are in there. So our master blender has got this task of selecting excellent Scotch whiskies, single malt whiskies from all around Scotland, uh, putting them together. And, and I like to describe it as being as a, a, a conductor of an orchestra almost, where you'd have the, the rhythm section and you have the brass and you have the strings and maybe the choir. They're all there individually. But as soon as the conductor starts conducting and starts playing, these all come together and you've got this fantastic music. But what has happened here is the master blender has chosen all these different single malts from around Scotland, put them together, almost conducted them in, in the way an orchestra conductor works as well, and, and we get this beautiful blend out of this lot. And as a result, Scottish Leader, as an example, is what he calls Scotland in a bottle, and I must say I have to agree with that. I tell you. Will there any be any uh, premium uh, whiskies also available tonight at the show? Yes, certainly there will be. Um, various companies are showcasing their premium whiskies. I don't think there will be anything too spectacularly new or anything very, very rare. 
But it's at these showcase uh, events that we can, um, under one roof, expose all the different whiskies that you would not necessarily have the opportunity of tasting under one roof at, at one time. So you could, you could go from blended whiskies to very, very expensive whiskies, and I'm sure they will be available tonight. Now, it's in Cape Town tonight. Is it, when is it coming to Johannesburg? Are you going to have it here in Johannesburg as well sometime? Yes, indeed. Um, these are slightly different shows. The, the, excuse me, the Cape Town show is what they call uh, Whiskey Live Showroom. So it is a, it's a smaller event, whereas the big events are coming to Johannesburg towards the end of the year, November. Uh, we'll be doing one in Soweto, which is Whiskey Live, uh, Whiskey Live Festival, and one in Santon as well. Uh, and these are very big events, um, attracting up to 8,000 people over three nights. So big, big events. Well, all the best of luck there for tonight. Uh, and uh, what else can people expect there tonight, uh, Pierre? Well, obviously, uh, there will be uh, the, the various whiskies from the various companies. But hopefully, they'll be able to not only taste whiskey, but particularly if you come to either Scottish Leader or Black Bottle, you'll be able to learn a lot more. And we found that uh, as these whiskey festivals have progressed and we've now into the 10th, we're now into the 11th year of these events, we found that people have become far more interested and it's wonderful to see a cross-section of the community of South Africa coming along with some very interesting questions. People are desperate for knowledge, they want to know more about whiskey and as the whiskey market in South Africa, which incidentally has grown tremendously, we are the fifth biggest importer of Scotch whiskey in the world by volume the seventh biggest by value, that tells you we are a very, very important market and people are very interested. And so hopefully, not only will they taste some good whiskey tonight, but they'll learn a little bit more about how it's made, how to drink it, when to drink it, etc. Pierre, thank you so much for your time. And next time, we'll have a taste of that whiskey as well. Thank you so much for joining Indeed, us. Indeed, looking, looking forward to that myself. That thank you. That was Whiskey Master Pierre Menkes, who will be showcasing at the FNB Whiskey Live showroom tonight in Cape Town. And for more, you can visit the Facebook pages uh, that was appearing a little bit earlier at the bottom of the screen there. There's a number of Facebook pages uh, there that you can visit. And, of course, uh, visit them. Uh, there it is now, www.facebook.com uh, forward slash Scottish Leader. And, of course, Black Bottle SA. These are the Facebook page you can visit and uh, pay them a visit there.